I was very committed to marriage. You know, I had grown up with the ideology that when you get married, that's for life. You put everything into that marriage. You commit yourself to that marriage. Regardless of anything that happens, you stay married and you work it out. That was how I went into the marriage. And again, along the lines, there were quite a few things. You know, the first time there was a domestic incident that was blatant, that couldn't just be, oh, you know, maybe got carried away. And it was the point I remember remember I took both my kids I got into the car and I was going to leave that was a line that got crossed for me and my elderly neighbor came out and she said what are you doing these are your kids this is your family you can't leave your family and that was everything I had been told my entire life yeah so I went back in the house and pretended nothing happened things like that continue to happen not so frequently that you know it was an everyday occurrence but frequently enough where it became a pattern and so I learned a a lot after the fact of the things that I had been through and the cycle of domestic violence. But while you're going through it, you're not thinking about that. You're just thinking about how do I get through, you know, everything that's going on? How do I not make the person upset so we don't have to deal with it? And it actually almost becomes where you feel like it's your fault if you didn't do the things right that prevented the other person from getting upset. There were definitely good parts of our marriage because if it was all bad, I think nobody would stay.